Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you all of you for your kind support. Today's topic of discussion is development of face and oral cavity. It has a huge weight in the topic of subject of oral anatomy. So today the topics covered are basic embryology and germ layers. First of all, we'll discuss about basic embryology. In basic embryology, there is prenatal life. Prenatal life may two phases of there. Ek to hota hai embryonic phase or second hota hai fetal phase. In embryonic phase, there are two phases. For the division of two phases, phase one and phase two. Phase one is from zero to four weeks. It includes cellular proliferation and migration. Cellular proliferation means increase in amount of cells and these cells migrate from one place to another. Then in phase 2, which takes place from 5 to 8 weeks, 5 to 8 weeks, then it consists of morphogenesis. Morphogenesis means key development of morphological characters and all that. Phase 2 is also known as vulnerable period. It is because कि अगर जैसे हमारे फेज 2 में कोई ना कोई डिस्टरबेंस होती है किसी भी स्टेप में दैट विल लीड टू एन एनॉमली सो इन एम्ब्रियोनिक फेज देयर आर टू फर्दर फेजेस फेज 1 फेज 2 देन फीटल फेज फीटल फेज कंसिस्ट ऑफ फेज 3 व्हिच इज फ्रॉम 8 वीक्स टू टिल बर्थ एट दैट टाइम मोर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स आर फुली डेवलप्ड so, uh, further development and growth and maturation occurs in phase 3. So, in uh, basic embryology, we have studied about prenatal life which consists of two phases, embryonic phase and fetal phase and further three phases. Now, we will discuss about germ layers. So, uh, germ layers are the structures which will develop the whole embryo. So, uh, first of all, fertilization takes place at the time of fertilization. Zygote formation occurs. After zygote is formed, then cleavage takes place. Uh, with the cleavage in zygote, single cell zygote will be converted into 16 cell structures, which is known as modula. Modula is the 16 cell structures. So, after the modula stage, uh, within some time, this modula is converted into blastocyst. Blastocyst is a structure which is which consists of inner cell mass trophoblast and primary yolk sac inner cell mass trophoblast and primary yolk sac inner cell mass is embryo proper or embryoblast which is used for the formation of extra embryonic layers and trophoblast forms placenta placenta is a supporting structure of the embryo then uh, after some time, this two-layer germ disc is uh, formed. Like, for example, inner cell mass will form ectoderm and endoderm. Ectoderm are tall columnar cells and endoderm are flattened cells. They will form amniotic cavity. They will form amniotic cavity and secondary yolk sac. This, prim this is primary yolk sac which is converted into secondary yolk sac. So, uh, in the blastocyst, we'll quickly revise that in the blastocyst, this uh, inner cell mass is converted into two germ layers and primary yolk sac is converted into secondary yolk sac. Then, uh, this two-layer germ disc is converted into three-layer germ disc. This process is known as gastrulation. Bilaminar germ disc is converted into trilaminar germ disc and this process is known as gastrulation. At this time, what happens is that at primitive node, primitive node is a structure which we will discuss in further video. So, at primitive node, ectodermal cells, only the ectodermal cells proliferate at this end, primitive node end. And at that time, they will proliferate and migrate in between ectoderm and endoderm and forms a layer which is known as mesoderm. These cells aggregate and form mesodermal cells. So, uh, at this time, second, uh, sorry, two-layer germ disc is converted into three-layer germ disc. So, uh, this is the complete formation of germ layers. So, uh, thank you guys for watching my video. If you like video, please like, comment and share. Kijiye. 
सो दैट आपके अदर फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप भी इसको देख सके और अगर आपको किसी भी टॉपिक में डाउट है तो आप कमेंट सेक्शन में मेंशन कर सकते हैं ताकि मैं उससे उससे रिलेटेड कोई नीडफुल वीडियो आपके लिए बना सकूँ थैंक यू